You know, the old saying is so true. We come in this world alone, and you're damn sure going to die alone. My mother gave birth to me in that bed alone. No doctors, no nurses, no doulas. Just her, God, and whatever faith she had left. Life challenges us from all angles. Our families, life, the cards that are dealt. The decisions aren't always made easy or clear to us. But yet, we keep going. We survive. Me back to class. Well, 
I forget things too sometimes. Like today, I forgot to wear matching socks. See? <laughs> <laughs> faith in you. So should you. I do have faith. I just wish everyone else here did too. Look, look at it this way. You can take what they say you can't do and do it. If you want them to believe, you truly believe, you gotta show, not tell. Just go home, study your ABCs, and you got this. <laughs> oh boy, this boy's crazy. Uh-uh. No, look at it. No, 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 it didn't. No, it didn't. I guess I got a missed call. Yes, yes, hello, I was calling you. I got a missed call from the school. Is everything okay? Yes. Uh, oh, no, everything is just fine. Um, I just wanted to know if you are aware that Nell is in our special education classes. No, not at all. I didn't hear anything about that. Really? I also wanted to know, have you... You and your wife notice any learning difficulties with her at home? What? No, oh, Lily's a smart girl, no Einstein. I agree. She's doing exceptionally well in my class. She makes mostly A's on her assignments. So, if it's okay with you, I'd like to have your permission to have Nella removed from all special education classes and tutoring. Would that be okay? Okay. Yeah, well, well I'll see you then. All right, thank you. Bye. She understands that like you wouldn't believe. She's really a gifted kid. Um, so if it's okay with you, I'd like to have her removed with your permission from all special ed classes and tutoring. Yeah, that'd be really appreciated. Me and my wife is older. We don't know what's going on around right here. So I'm very glad you called us about this because she don't need to be in the classes. I agree with you. I'm glad we got this resolved. I'm gonna go ahead and get the paperwork started. Yeah. But uh, feel free to come by, sit in on Nella's class, and see how we do in the classroom, so you can see her in action. Okay. And um, I'll call you when the paperwork's ready. Thank you so much for coming by. We appreciate you. We appreciate Nella. I know she's enjoying my class. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Everybody, it's so good to see everybody. Great to see you too. Where's Nella? Are you in the kitchen? You're in the refrigerator. What you looking in the refrigerator for? Nella, she's over there in the kitchen. If you drop one more watermelon seed on that floor, I'm gonna beat you. You won't be happy. And I mean that. Nella, look, you have to learn to be clean. Okay? Yes, ma'am. What's gonna happen when you grow up and when you get married? I ain't getting married. Girl, please. No man wants a nasty woman. If I tell you 
Next time I catch you messing up this house, it's going to be hell to pay. Mom and Daddy didn't pay too much and they worked too hard to buy this house for you to come in here with your ungrateful tail just trashing it. A real friend is someone who tells you the unfiltered truth. It's the leech me like glow. All of these girls stuck to me like glow. I swear that they are stuck to me like glow. I stuck to me like glow. I swear that they are. Time to bring the savage back, King Kidding this. I should thank you for this. Give me my juice again. Come on in, girl. No job. And what about college? You are going to ruin your future if you have this baby. Okay, look, I know it hurts to hear me say that, but mm -hmm. I just don't want you to end up like some of these people we see in our neighborhood. I want all my friends to rise up out of here and be great. Girl, we got the rest of our lives to have kids. I mean, I don't know what I have being honest. Now look, You've been a great friend to me, but you don't understand my life. Ever since the first grade, I've dealt with my dad's substance abuse and my mom making excuses for him. I've dealt with so much already. What do you mean, I don't understand? I don't even have my mother. <clears throat> She's alive and never comes to visit me. Not on holidays, not on my birthday. <laughs> Girl, what do you mean? I get it. You know, you have issues with your parents, okay? You feel like they're irresponsible, right? But at least you know that they love you. And they show you the best way that they can. Nah, you don't get it. You're stuck on the idea that I have both of my biological parents. And that part is true. But what does it mean to have parents if they aren't parenting? My mom's always gone to work. I don't even have a warm meal when I make it home. Or my mom to talk to about girl stuff. I just want someone to love, you know? I'm sorry, okay? Don't cry. I, I didn't mean to hurt it's you. It's fine. Just... I get it. You want me to see what I have. But if you could just feel the way that I feel right now, you would understand. I don't see this pregnancy as a bad thing. I'm in love with the father of my child, and this may be what I need to feel fulfilled in life. Okay. You know I love you, and I'll support you, no matter what you choose. But just make sure you're doing the right thing for you now and in the future. Not just some temporary fix, yo. This is a new life you're bringing in. I would love to get to know you and show you that I'm not like these other dudes you run into. I know it may sound corny, but I see something in you and I just met you. I know, right? That's what I was trying to tell you. Who are you talking to? Girl, let me call you back. He just made it home. Well, how are you today? Are you okay? I just want to know who you're talking to. Probably somebody telling all our business to. What? No. You know I'm not like that. What's going on? 
You seem upset all the time and you won't even talk to me. Tell me, what am I doing so wrong? What are you doing wrong? You, first of all, you keep asking me, what are you doing wrong? You're going to make something wrong. You keep asking me Stop. what's wrong with me. Hi, how you doing? Nice to see you again, Nella. How are you? I'm okay. Okay. Good Thank to you. see you. After being in this marriage and having our child, our relationship has completely changed. He stays out all night and he's gone most of the day. I'm uncertain about where we stand. I mean, one minute he's loving me and calling me all the sweet names I want to hear. And the very next, he's silent are screaming at me for the smallest things. In the beginning, things were so different. Nella, it seems like you have a lot of uncertain emotion about your relationship. Have you talked about this conversation with your husband? No, every time I think about talking to him, I have doubt that he would understand where I'm coming from. It's like, I married my yang, happy and sweet, but at the same time, he leaves me feeling so distant. You know, expressing how you feel, expressing those emotions to him will help create a dialogue for the issues. Tell me what you mean about distance. Does he ignore you a lot in the relationship? I think, I think he suffers a lot internally. And instead of talking things through with me, he decides to take it all in alone, which in turn leaves me feeling alone. I just want my husband to know that I'm literally dying in this marriage and I don't know what else to do. It's very possible that he is doing that. I've seen this a lot with relationships that have two alpha partners. It's a game of love and balance. The two of you sound like you have so much to say to each other, but you're speaking two different love languages. Then you mix pride, fear, and ego in it and the communication goes all wrong. Have you thought about coming in for a session together? I don't think that'll go well. He's a very private man and he doesn't like expressing his feelings with everyone. He hardly shares them with me. I will work my way up to asking him. I just don't want to lose my husband. We've put a lot of time and energy into this marriage and we have one son. I just, I can't do it alone. And I won't allow you to do it alone. I have an available appointment on Tuesday. Would you two like to come in for an hour session? Okay, put us down. I'll just tell him we've reached a point in our marriage where we need professional help. Plus my insurance pays for it. Maybe he'll be more open to it. Thanks for everything. And you are so welcome. Most times we need a safe place for our feelings to talk to a person who's unfiltered about the things that are hindering us or preventing our growth. Nella, I really love my job because I get to help beautiful people like you. But I wanna leave you with some homework. I'd like for you to start journaling your emotions once a week. That way you can see your progression within the next year. This is important for any woman because as we go through life, we see that every heavy hitting issue is all the same. It's just a matter of how you choose to handle it. I used to keep journals when I was a teenager, but now I'm so busy dealing with life, I don't even think about it anymore. I will start one again. Maybe it'll help me cope instead of discussing my marriage with my friend who hates my husband. You know, Nella, it's important as women that we enjoy this ride called life and enjoy it to the fullest. There is nothing wrong with taking time for yourself. It's not selfish, it's necessary you will find that the more you get out and find things that make you happy, things that bring you closer to who you really are, you will find true happiness within yourself. Okay, 
I have you booked and I will see you on Tuesday with your husband. Thank you so much. All right, thank you for coming in. I'll see you on Tuesday with your husband. I'm so glad you had time to meet up today. I've been going through. Really? What's been going on? I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, I know. It's been a minute. Just trying to get our son through school and dealing with his dad, it's been a challenge. You know, I've even gone through counseling, but it's not helping. Girl. He comes in late every night. I hardly see him anymore. Mm -hmm. You know that's abusive, right? And you know he's probably cheating. He can be at times, you're right. I try to do everything the way he likes to show him how much I love him, but it's not enough. I think he's dealing with issues that I don't know how to fix. Mentally and physically, it is. You do everything to try to keep a person happy, but that's not enough, huh? No, it's not. Man, I'm so sick and tired of how men just drag women. That's why I'm staying single. Might as well buy my orange jumpsuit and ball of chains. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> Lord, is it that the truth? I'm Latina, honey. I'm not playing with nobody. <laughs> Sergeant Jesse, I'm very sorry. I'm here to serve eviction notice. Eviction notice? Yes. Uh uh. Yes, ma'am. No, uh, uh. You probably got the wrong address, wrong person. Yes, ma'am. Uh uh. No, you got the wrong address, wrong person, or both. I don't know. Because I've been living here for more than 30 years, probably longer than you've been alive. That's not, that's not me. That's not me. Mm. That's not me. Well, I'm sorry to say, ma'am, but um, if you're Miss Nella Stokes and you live at this fair address, then I do have the right person. I'm sorry to say, but it looks as if your husband actually put a lien on your house. And what? Then, yes, ma'am. No. How could he How could he do this with my signature? I do not know, ma'am. That's something you're going to have to ask no. him. No. I can't. He's dead. I'm so sorry to hear that, ma'am. But it looks like um, he put the lien on your house and he didn't actually hold up the end of the financial obligations. 
I'm surprised the city didn't send someone out here earlier. I'm sorry to say, ma'am, but this is actually a 15 day notice for the PSVC building. I'm so sorry. At times, you're right. Period. Period. I forgot. Period. Hold on. Hey, all in your face. <laughs>